In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at co-authoring inside SharePoint Online. So by default, documents in SharePoint Online document libraries are able to be co-authored. So what we mean by this is that you can have multiple people editing those documents at the same time. So to illustrate that, I'm here in a document library in uh, SharePoint Online. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to select a document here. So in this case, it's a Word document so that I can view it in the browser. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit that document in Word Online. So that will open it in a browser, put it into edit mode and allow me to make changes to that document. But immediately you can see that there are already two other users who are working on this document. And you'll see that I also get an indication of where they are inside uh, that document. So I can not only see that there are multiple people editing the document, I can also see potentially uh, what they're doing. So again, I've got two other, two other authors here who are typing away on the document and I can see exactly what they're doing. So we've got multiple people working on the document. Now I get an indication in the top right hand corner of the other people who are editing this document. So you can see Gordon Jackson and Lewis Collins are both working on this document. Now, if I'm in the web-based client and they are too, I can go in here and I can chat with these people directly if I want. And again, if they're in the web client, they can basically respond to uh, that as well. So again, makes it nice and easy to do uh, collaboration here as the fact that everybody has access to the same amount of information. Now, again, I can turn that chat off there. And again, you'll see that I can go in and uh, select that person and I get more information about where they actually are in the document. Now, what I can do is not only edit this document in uh, Word Online, but I can also do it uh, directly in Word on the browser. So in this case, what I'll do is I'll go back and select to open in Word on the desktop because I'm in Chrome here. It's going to prompt me to open Word 2016. Now I'm going to open that. And that will then obviously put the document into edit mode as well. And again, allow me to co-author the document here. So again, we've now got multiple authors working on this document. You'll see that I get an indication up the top here that I have uh, two users. I select on them. You'll see that I can chat, open their contact card and see who they are. I can add additional uh, people to work with this document. But you'll notice up here that I also get the ability to look at the activity. So I can see what each user is doing inside that document when I'm using Word on uh, the desktop here. So again, what I can do is go in here and I can make any changes that I want. All right, and type that information. And again, what we will see is when we have um, other users inside the document, much like we had on the web, you'll see that those changes are being made by uh, another user there. And if I go over the mouse, you'll see that gives me an indication that Lewis is making those changes. So we get the same sort of concept here with co-authoring as we do if we're working on the web. So again, that will allow me to auto save and save background. So what I'll do is I'll just close out that document and that will then update my SharePoint document library. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go back to the uh, document library. Now, by default, documents in uh, Office documents like Excel, Word, PowerPoint support the ability to be co-authored so I can work on them together at the same time with multiple authors. But in this case, what I want to be able to do is work on a file exclusively. Now, the way that I do that is I basically right mouse click on the file, I go on to more, and then I go to the checkout option here. Now that will then give me exclusive access to that uh, document. You'll see a little green arrow here indicating that I have exclusive right access to that document. When I'm finished with it, I need to again go in here and I need to check that document back in. And then I will put uh, changes here to give me an idea of the uh, what has been updated and changed. Right, you'll see that the green arrow will disappear, indicating the document is checked in, available for others to work on. Now, if I go in here and look at the version history, you'll see that when I get a list of my different versions, you'll see that here are the comments that I typed in here when I checked this uh, document back into the location. So let me go in here once more and let me go to check out this document. All right, so I've checked out the uh, bikes.xlsx. Now what I'll do is I'll pop across to another browser. So this is the browser that um, one of the users, Gordon Jackson, is working on that document. So let me just go back to that same document library. 
and you'll see that there is an indication here that the document has been checked out. So what I'm going to do is simply select this. Now remember this is a different user from the user who is currently working on the document. So I can view the document, that's no problem. But if I go in here and try and edit in a browser, all right, what's going to happen here is it's basically going to let me know that someone else has the workbook locked and checked out. So again, I can just continue on in uh, view mode there. Now, if I go back to the original user, again, right mouse click on this, go into more and check that document back in. All right, that will then complete that and allow the, the other user. So in this case, now going uh, back to Gordon, I can now go in and edit in a browser and you'll see that the document now is available for edit. So I can go in here and update the document as expected and I can then work on that document, update, make any changes and then when I'm finished it will save automatically in the background and I can go back to the document library and see the changes that I have made. So in summary, what we have is that uh, Office Documents, Word, Excel, PowerPoint inside a SharePoint document library um, have the ability to be co-authored, to have multiple editors working on them at the same time by default. If you want to get exclusive access, you can right mouse click on that and then check that document out so that you as the author have um, specific rights. You're the only one that can edit and update that file. Okay. And that then gives you uh, exclusive right access. Now you'll notice in this case, I tried to check the document out, got an error, and the reason is, is someone currently has that document already open. So again, if I go in here and view the document again, uh, let's go in here and edit this uh, once more, put it into edit mode, we'll see that there are currently other users in that document. So again, I can't check the document out for exclusive access until there's no one else except me. So there's another editor in this document so I can't check it out until that point where I get exclusive access. Now, again, if I go back here to the document library, so let's say we have a situation where we want to check this file out. All right, so I want to do some editing. Now, what happens is if that user isn't available or forgets to check the file back in, what can we do here? So what we can do is, as an administrator who has rights over this area, I can right mouse click in here, go to more, and you'll see that I get an option here to discard um, that checkout. So again, an administrator can check the document in and can also discard any changes. Now, if I discard, then any changes made since the point of checkout will be lost. So be aware of that. So I can discard that, All right? You get a warning and we'll discard that and you'll see there the document is again available for access. So remember that documents inside a SharePoint team site and document library, if they're office documents, they support co-authoring with multiple editors at the same time. You can see them working on the document. You can also see who they are in the top right. You can also potentially chat with them. Now I can open in Word on the desktop. All right, so I'll launch open in Word. I get a very similar ex sharing experience where I can see the users who are in there. I can, uh, again, look at their activities, see them live editing the document. The desktop application is also going to give me the ability here to go in and look at the activity on this file in real time. So again, a really handy little option there. Now, if you want to get exclusive access to the document, you basically need to check the document out. All right, so we can do that from right mouse clicking, or again, we can go up to the menu up the top here, and you'll see that I get the option here to check that file out. That will give me exclusive right access, and I can check the document back in. So a lot of flexibility is gained here by having co-authoring available by default in SharePoint Online team sites.